Hey guys, Matt here again from Mantic. So we're coming back to this Hellboy, Holiday Hellboy model now. Now from the last video I've actually done quite a lot of stuff off camera. Um, reason being is there's not really much else I can show you technique wise on this model. It's all the same sort of techniques now. Um, the only difference is his colour selection. So as you can see I painted the cup in his hand. Um, the same gold as what I did the trumpet. Um, I painted the ropes that wrap around the model. And these were just done with a, gre a greeny grey colour and then just highlighted up through a bit of a, uh, a sort of beigey ivory colour. And then all the toys were just painted in various different colours just to uh, add a bit of variety to the model. Now, painted the toys quite a desaturated, non vibrant sort of colour. Reason being is I don't want the uh, viewer's eye being drawn to the bag rather than this area of Hellboy. That's why the green leaves around his head the holy leaves are quite bright because that just focuses people on this area of the model and we just painted the skulls just a, a general gray color just to stand them out so what we're actually going to do now um so we're coming to the closing stages of the actual model um i'm just going to black line the model now what this is is we take very 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 thin black paint a very sharp tipped small brush and all the different areas where different materials meet, we're just going to run a very thin black line. And all this does is just makes it pop. This will just make the different areas pop out. And um, it just draws the eye to the different areas and makes the colour stand out a bit more. So it's just a straight, flat black colour. Doesn't matter what range it's from. And it's just thinned down. So see how thin that is? It's like a wash reason I'm using a black paint rather than a wash is just because it's a higher pigment content. So let's just start with a bag. So where that rope meets the bag there. And it's just in the real deepest area where them shadows would meet. Where them two different materials meet. Top and bottom. It's important to take your time at this stage. It's a real steady hand. Take your time, make sure the paint, paint's nice and thin. This is the final stage, you don't want to mess up now, but a big black line right across all your colours. This is an optional stage, you don't have to do it, the model looks perfectly fine without it. Just um it's just a final finishing touch. As well I'll also do it is where these two ropes cross here. Where the skulls meet the bag there. Let's go to another area now. So let's go to let's go to this arm here because again he's got a couple of different textures in different areas. So where his glove meets the arm there, I'm going to put a very thin black line in there. Just want to get a bit thick there. And then another one inside there. This rope comes across this sleeve. Back there. I'm going 
gonna do on here. Just because it will help that pop jacket pop out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest off the camera. Just as I really need to be able to get right close to it and just check exactly where all these lines have got to go. But that gives you the general idea of what I'm going to do to finish this model. Now that's all that's left to do is the base. I will do a quick tutorial just on the base just because it's only going to be a quick um, quick dry brush job. Because I want the model's base to not draw attention away from the actual model. So it's going to be quite dull and muted. Um, but then we'll just look at the finished model at the end of it all. So once again guys, I hope you got something from that. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this model and we're starting to get to the stage where he's finished. Speak to you soon guys. Mm -hmm.